it's Allison with Travel Girl. Want to see Philly in a day? I'm going to show you how because we're in my very own hometown and we're doing a workout fit for an eagle. Okay, so the first thing you have to do when you get to Philly is to get the food right. For me, it's getting a Philly soft pretzel in the morning. And of course, for other people, they want their hoagie and cheesesteak. So let's check out just how you get them. I like to go to the stands, or you can go to this place in Old City. Now, getting soft pretzels is a thing. Like, you can see they only have three left here. If you don't get them before 12 o'clock, chances are they're already sold out. They have to go all the way to one bakery in the heart of South Philly called the Federal Baking Company at 6 a.m. And it's sort of a thing. This place also has some cheesesteaks and hoagies. Documenting my, oh, camera's in the my trip to Philly. <laughs> I'm getting an authentic Philly soft pretzel. Yup. Sugar mm. side cheese with it. Cheese with? Four, five, five, six, ten, so it's sugar. Thanks. Give you a bag. Sure you don't want no mustard? Um. Mm. I'll give you a little. Okay, yeah, on the side. <laughs> Ooh, that yeah, looks good. Heaven. Now, if you have the time, you can venture into South Philly, grab some Eagles merchandise, and take a stadium tour like a real fan. It lasts about two hours, and you'll burn about 200 calories walking. After the tour, it's great to stop by Old City again and see some sites like Independence Hall, and there's so much more. And perhaps pick up some lunch at Continental. They have great dishes like this with desserts to match. For something a little less touristy, if you keep jogging past the rocky steps, you'll get to Boathouse Row and trails that will lead you all the way to Maniunk and Chestnut Hill. Here, you can jog or bike through Fairmount Park on these paved roads, but later in the day, you can stop by a store or two and perhaps pick up a hiking trail after. This hiking gate is just a few blocks away from the main street in Chestnut Hill on Crefeld, but there are many entrances. Okay, so many people always see the rocky steps, but if you go beyond the stairs and go all the way up Lincoln Drive, you get to the rest of Fairmount Park and you can get these beautiful trails along streams and it looks something, well, like this. Now, there are entrances all over. Um, I just parked here, but you could, in theory, bike or walk all the way from the Rocky Steps to trails like these. We can even jog a little. <laughs> now, um, I don't usually do this alone, but I'm not completely alone. I have Henry here. Henry doesn't like getting his Paul's wet though, so he's in this bag. And of course, if you want to keep it simple, stay at the art museum, go inside, and check out the Barnes collection right next door. It's amazing. And don't forget to jog up the rocky steps, of course. Alright, we made it to the top. Alright, I'll see you next time on Travel Girl.